I made this plugin specifically for builders. Today I was building a farm map for one of my other games and I made this turbine and I wanted it to spin. As I was scripting it, I thought to myself, every time I want to animate something in my map, I have to re-script it or go find the place, open it up, copy and paste the script. And I was like, man, there's got to be a better way to do this faster and more efficiently. Instantly, my mind switched from building this farm map to a whole different project, and that is this Roblox plugin. Now, I've personally never made a plugin, uh, just not in my wheelhouse. But my friend Robo said if I ever had a plugin idea, I could hire him to make it for me. Now, a full on plugin just to make a part spin is a bit silly. So I started to think, what else can we as builders do to make our maps feel more alive? And what are some tedious scripts that we always have to retype to make certain things happen within our maps? Windshake came instantly to mind. Light pulses, then rainbow effects, then hover effects. And in only a minute of thought, I had five different effects I could use to make this plugin. Now my friend Robo is super gifted when it comes to scripting, just way smarter than I'll ever be. However, when it comes to designing, that's not exactly his specialty. So I hopped into Photoshop and made what I thought would be a sick layout for this new plugin. And honestly, I think it turned out pretty great. Now, up to this point, I haven't pitched the idea of this to literally anybody. With my ideas and Robo scripting skills, here's what we made. The plugin is called Scene Tools, the one-stop shop for all your scene animating needs. We only have five tools at the moment. Wind shake, spin, light pulse, rainbow parts, and hover effects. However, if you guys have any ideas for more tools that I can add to this plugin, let me know in the comments below. And if you see an idea you like, make sure to drop a like on it and the top comment we will try to add to this plugin. Or the top few comments even. Anyways, let me show you guys how this plugin works. Alright guys, so I just set up this little scene uh, completely from the toolbox, just a bunch of random assets to show you guys this plugin, how easy it is to use, and what all it has so far. If we go on over, scene tools, it's right here, and guys, I'm, uh, I'm kinda geeking, okay? Like, I've always wanted to have a plugin, and it's just pretty cool. So, check it out. First thing we're gonna do is click on this light bulb piece right here, and then we're just gonna click on a rainbow. Boom! That is instantly done, and will now be rainbow. The next thing we're gonna do is grab every single leaf piece. Note on this one, you do have to grab the actual leaf instead of the entire model, so just make sure to do that for this to work. But click on the leaves, then just click wind shake. Boom, done. Up next, we want this to spin. Absolutely no problem. Click on the model, click spin, and there you go. Also, everything you could do with this plugin is fully adjustable. Right down here, it adds a tag, which is how the script knows what to make the model or part do. And then it has attributes. This is axis and speed. So if this is spinning the wrong way, we would just change the one to a zero and the zero to a one. We're gonna do the same here, adding a spin tag. We're gonna go to this mushroom. Note, it does have a point light inside it. We're gonna click on it. And then we are gonna click on light pulse. And we have a UFO here. So we're gonna click hover. I'm gonna make sure everything is anchored and we're gonna hop into the game. And just like that, guys, with one simple click of a button, check it out. Let's go around. Right here, you can see the leaves are moving. Once again, you can change all of the settings and everything like that. Over here, we have a rainbow part. You can change how fast this is, how slow this is, etc. Another example of how to use the spin on this water wheel right here. Wind shake also on the bushes. The light pulse is here. It's basically making a light, any kind of light, point light, surface light, etc. The brightness will fade from wherever it is to zero and back to wherever it is, and it will loop that. Another example of spins, and the hover effect on the UFO. All in all, this plugin just speeds up builder's workflow who don't really know too much about scripting or can't be asked to jump into a script. So I really hope you guys like it. Now, just one more time, if you guys have any more ideas on what I can add to this plugin, definitely leave them in the comments below. I plan on expanding this plugin uh, a lot, like having so many different effects and ideas just to make us be able to animate our scenes and bring them to life so much easier. But that is going to wrap it up for today. If you did enjoy and want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.